There would be no Ring of Honor Women's Division World Championship without Serena Deeb and the current champion Mercedes Martinez. These are people that came to Ring of Honor uh, before the women's division really took off. I made my Ring of Honor debut in 2007 in Dayton, Ohio. There was no women's division. We were working hard to put women's wrestling on the map, but we were working against the grain. We were working uphill. Well, when Ring of Honor was in its infancy, Serena and Mercedes were really two of the trailblazers, the four founders of what has become an exceptional women's division over the years. This title reign means a lot. Early in my career, there was no women's division. Here I am holding a title that was never around. So for me to put it on the pedestal and bring the Ring of Honor women's division to the level that it should be, it's definitely a humbling experience. It's definitely something that I take to heart. The champ put herself in a very interesting position. Serena Deeb and Mercedes Martinez have been tagging together, they've been riding together. There has to be something inside of her when you're riding beside a champion, when you're tagging beside a champion, you're wanting to learn how this champion ticks. Are there any weaknesses? Are there any kinks in this armor? Teaming with Mercedes taught me that there's somebody just as aggressive as me. I consider myself the most aggressive woman on this roster, the most ruthless, the most cutthroat. I'll do whatever it takes, but guess what? Mercedes is in the exact same mindset. The challenger, I believe, has benefited the most from these two women teaming recently on AEW, and I think this is an unforced error for the champion. Serena has been scouting the champion ever since she's been around her. Nobody hangs around a champion and doesn't pick anything up from them. Sometimes they say when you scout someone, how do you really scout what their intentions are? Serena Deeb now has seen up close and personal what the champion has to offer, and the challenger has gained that advantage heading into Death Before Dishonor. Serena may think she can scout me. Serena may think that she knows me. But there's one thing that people need to realize about this OG badass is expect the unpredictability of what I can bring to the ring. I believe in my abilities above anything else. I have studied this game for 17 years. I'm not taking this match lightly. I know what Serena is capable of. I know what she can bring to the table. I know that at any moment that I can lose this title, all she needs is a three count. I think Mercedes Martinez, the champion, is going to do anything she can to hold on to the Ring of Honor World Women's Championship now that she's won it. The challenger has a hands-on, one-on-one, front seat experience against the champion. You know, she wanted a title shot. All she had to do was ask. That respect was on the table. But you want to make a statement? You want to attack me? Oh. That's Serena Deep! Wow! Serena Deep now with the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion in the Serenity Lock! You don't want to be partners? That's fine. I got you. I understand, but understand this, Serena. I walk in to that ring, respect goes out the window. The reason they call me the professor is because I take people to school. I stretch people. I teach people lessons every single time I get in the ring. They've been trailblazers. They've been change makers. And now these women who blaze the trail are at the top of the division. This is not a beauty pageant. It's not a popularity contest. It's who hits the hardest, who wrestles the best, and who can finish their opponent. It's gonna be an incredible full circle moment because I know this championship means the world to both athletes. I'm at the highest level of my game right now. Death before dishonor, I'm walking in as champion. There is no woman that can touch me. And I'm walking out as champion. Remember that. And I'm not going to stop until I'm crowned women's champion.